Okay, so you've been doing this thing ever since I requested Congress investigate the actions of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and other people with whom she was associated, including one person that I understand is inferred from the announcement regarding uh, the events in Afghanistan. Okay, and so in the course of this, <clears throat> we're in a situation now where I have been characterized for a protracted period of time as a Russian spy, or at least a Russian asset, which is why I'm supposed to be handled by people that identify themselves as having some sort of past work history with or through the Department of State, but refuse to actually do anything remotely compliant with the actual laws of the United States, despite the fact that they're also members of bar associations and identified and identify themselves to me as practicing attorneys, including, by the way, at least in one case, a practicing attorney that had a government contract with a state uh, branch of a federal agency, right? So you want me to play into this sort of situation where I have to live through the Lady Ferguson scam as if I'm in the stead of Hillary Clinton as a way to close out her political risk insurance book that she used me and my life to set up and understand that there were other people that were very, very supportive of her personally that agreed to lend their skills, including their skills when it came to the world of finance and banking and insurance to assist her. And so it's going to be very difficult for me to get anyone to acknowledge my personal claim until I acknowledge that I had a responsibility already to provide some form of political risk insurance for Hillary Clinton specifically, but also in an alignment or a league of other people that were part of a comparable or within the same sort of hedge fund strategy. So every once in a while they get my card and they get to put it in their envelope. So I'm supposed to actually let them drive my vehicle around. And during that time frame, they get to determine whether or not they want to be availed of whatever ends up happening as their first or primary option. And if they don't like it, they may be able to give that to somebody else. And my actual rights and my actual consent or lack thereof is not relevant. This is what you want me to accept and you want me to perform. And you want me to understand that everything else that you're unfortunately incapable of actually quashing in terms of my actual allegations and my actual capacity to operate independently, well, I mean, that's on hold, which is why nobody acknowledges it, right? Because you don't want from me what the actual legal work is or the actual arguments are or the actual support of people or the actual performance of government process in so far as I could be a part of it in any number of stages or anything related to accountability or even reconciliation, much less budgeting or actually addressing tax matters. That's not what you want. You want insurance. And specifically, you want cover your ass insurance for doing things you know are illegal and will expose people to risk and harm, including fatal violence and risk and harm, including associated with being extorted into agreeing to cooperate with crime. Fine, you made me a bounty hunter. You made me one of those Russian mercenaries that Russia agreed to pay if I returned the body of one of those American soldiers. But before you made me a bounty hunter, of American soldiers murdered in or dead because it's war, right, in Afghanistan. Did you make me one of those bounty hunters that turned in those guys at Gitmo? No, because that's not how the bond flip scam works. You made me one of those guys that got turned in at Gitmo that somebody else collected the bounty on. And now's my chance if I agree to play along to be the bounty hunter, to be the one that gets the bounty. And I get to turn in this person that is supposed to be providing the insurance against somebody I asked Congress to investigate for his culpability in conspiring to cover up crimes committed by an active Secretary of State, specifically and in connection with allegations of supporting a coup in another country and the things that resulted from that. 
including very, very significant crimes at a high level involving a major banking establishment that not only was a major beneficiary of the 2008 banking bailout, but had already been implicated as being involved in serious crime associated with engaging illegal activity with an understanding they had already set up a bribe scheme through Congress and were able to get the law changed before they actually got busted down, right? And the whole concern about, well, was there executive overreach involved, right? Calls into question what your consideration of executive leadership is. And my consideration of executive leadership is that me and my team, in order for us to be able to make our contributions to your infrastructure bill, well, we need vehicles, but we need specific kinds of vehicles. And we need vehicles that are capable of a variety of different things, so we need specialized vehicles. And I already created a budget, and I already put together a uh, three-point uh, comparison around insurance rates. And at the time when this came up, and when these options were possible, and actually the people who were available to do this were capable of actually following through, well, there wasn't money in the budget, right? And not only that, I mean, you just didn't have time to get back to me because there were all kinds of other things. And if you made an exception for me and blah, 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 right? And there were a lot less dead people and specific demonstrable moments to prove that the only way I would be able to get something like this is if it was this criminal, right? But now's the time, after all this time of us getting training and how to deal with ins uh, inspection of industrial facilities, you know, some of us getting some kind of on-the-job experience, regardless of whether or not we actually got paid for it, right? Some of us actually learning about policy and codes, including changes to law or standards that are actually potentially more, shall we say, high risk than they otherwise would have been, including acquiring primary source material, including standards manuals and or books describing processes that were reputed in the industry for a substantial amount of time and associated with people that are acknowledged as uh, uh, professionals uh, with credibility. Now, all of those things, well, that wasn't what was important, right? You needed the leverage. And you also need for me to acknowledge that I will agree to let Hillary Clinton personally, but then other people within the hedge fund that in the strategy that was set up on behalf of her and those that are her political interests to claim this in one level. And then you'll give me the consolation prize. Will you give me my 25 blazers that are set up with a specific kind of reinforcement and provide me with the uh, titles and with the insurance so that then I can make them assets of my LLC and then maybe even use them as collateral, for instance, in order to take out the loans or financing I would need to get the actual equipment so that we can go out and actually do uh, industrial inspection in the field. I mean, I already have the budgets. I've already had the uh, a comparison and contrast. It's over a year, unfortunately, but you needed some sort of demonstration of loyalty. Because even though you've been trying to get me to play into this grotesquely horrific caricaturization of Senor Pultan's lady, right? I've been refusing. Uh, however, all the way up until now, all of the other demonstrations of my capacities and my compatibility with what is at least identified on some level as a need, well, they just keep getting deferred to somebody else because I won't make the buy-in. Is this big enough? Is the murder of the equivalent of the chief of staff of the president of Afghanistan enough political risk insurance coverage in order to fulfill my requirements to demonstrate my loyalty to Hillary Clinton and those that support her politically? Is it? Is it enough to get me what I would need in order to be able to work with the people that have already received training and already had past experience in various sectors that would then be able to actually engage in a process of inspecting materials or inspecting processes on site as they're occurring or going to uh, pieces of infrastructure up to and including very, very important, uh, potentially high risk uh, and high value pieces of infrastructure to provide the appropriate inspection port report and make sure that they're safe. See, because my whole thing is that if I would accept that on that level, right, then 
You might have enough money in the budget to pay for the inspection, but are you going to actually be able to trust the inspection? Or is it going to be one of those things like, I don't know, Mississippi? Oh my God, somebody did an inspection on that plane and there was a hairline crack in the chassis and nobody said anything about it and they, they've been flying back and forth on that plane for years. So that's what you're setting up right now, right? But it's the only chance I'm going to get. You told me last night you get one shot. Apparently this is it, right? Well, here's the problem. It's insurance fraud, right? I know. We don't really talk about political risk insurance and what it means, but it's still insurance fraud. Would you let me do it? Would you let me do it? And would you give old boy who got paid off two years ago his kickback for working the deal this long and securing something this sweet? You already had me do my time in Afghanistan, guys. You already had me do my time in a Pakistani jail as if I was some hardcore Taliban-y, right? Well, you did it as a upfront investment in me doing something else very important. How much more important is this? This is a big score. I'm sure every single fucking one of you want to get it on for yourself, but unfortunately, it's mine. Are you going to give it to me? Are you going to give me my bounty? You don't have to give me cash if that's a problem. You can give it to me uh, goods in kind, right? And then I will kind of drop my claim about the pension fraud, right? Are you going to be able to cover the insurance fraud? Do you have the capacity? Do you have the insurance to cover the insurance? Oh, you know, you might have if you would acknowledge what I sent to the Department of Justice in February of 2018, instead of doing what else did you do with it? Because now we've got competing companies, right? Because the insurance you have in order to cover this deal, unfortunately, is in competition with the other insurance you've got trying to cover some other deals, right? Oh, I don't know. Are you going to give me my bounty or not? Are you going to pay for the deal you brokered or not? Because if you don't, then you don't really have any other option at this point in time today before the special session starts tomorrow to cover what you had to cover as part of the payoff on Hillary Clinton's political risk insurance that in many ways, mind you, is actually underpinning the complete farce ongoing right now regarding all these other political concerns. Today's your only shot. And it's this precise, and it's come together this well, right? It's only 10 a.m. How long is it going to take for you to actually get people to confirm with me that we can get this taken care of by the end of the weekend, and then you don't even have to worry about that special session, right? They'll lay off. They're not going to extort you anymore if you actually deliver on the deal you promised them, right? I mean, we don't have much time until September 11th. 